What common sense is actually wrong? You hold your breath. If you run out of air while scuba diving, wrong, your lungs will explode as you'll float upwards with a lung full of air, and you probably will try to surface anyway, and the air inside them expands. The proper procedure is to scream all the way up to make sure your airways are open. Except you forgot about scuba diving 101. Don't f I dive alone. My regulator busted underwater once. I signaled my partner the out of air sign. He gave me his second regulator and we went up. Which was as easy as when we did the exercises. Just like the simulations. Sometimes, when someone is having a bad day, it's better to just listen and agree, rather than offer logical advice. When I worked in spectator event safety, we learned, sports stadia, that when an evacuation is happening, the safest place to go to is the playing field, as it is usually open air, and therefore low risk, if it is a fire evacuation. However common sense takes over crowd dynamics and people try leaving the way they came in from the other side of the building. So this common sense tray results in thousands of people flocking into burning buildings. An example of this was the Bradford City Stadium fire. A huge chunk of the crowd headed back into the burning stadium looking for exits despite open air. The pitch being meters in front of them. Sometimes, planning and training can count against you. Look at the Piper Alpha disaster in the North Sea. They were trained to muster in the fireproof accommodation block and await rescue. The only people that survived broke training and jumped over the side. Grenfell Tower Fire, UK. Any residents of the tower who called the fire service were told to remain in their flat unless it was affected, which is the standard policy for a fire in a high rise building, as each flat should be fireproofed from its neighbors. Wikipedia. Many survivors told how they ignored this advice. 72 people died from that fire. Who knows how many would have escaped had that advice not delayed them while the fire spread. Don't go to bed angry, UMM. Me and my husband ignoring this rule has saved our marriage. Do you know how many stupid fights are caused by being tired? That's why I prefer the rule. No serious talks before 8am and after 10pm. Arguing when you're tired is not a good idea. The slower and more defensive you drive, the better. Couldn't be further from the truth. You need a mix of defensive and offensive to be truly be safe. Keep traffic flowing. And to prevent bottlenecks, don't be nice. Be predictable. Do not, ever, wait 24 hours before filing a missing persons report. If you have a reasonable suspicion that something happened to someone, call immediately. In crime shows, when they say the first 24 hours are crucial in a missing child case, they are not making it up. Ignore a bully, and they'll leave you alone. No, they just see a weak target. Smack the shout at them, if they already made it physical. Note, it is morally acceptable to nut punch, when they've made it physical themselves. Going outside with wet hair will not make you get you sick. It will make you feel cold as hell though. Source, I'm Canadian. Have showered. Common sense says sun isn't out, and it is cool outside. You don't have to worry about sunburns. Worst sunburn I ever got. I remember reading that 80% of the sun's harmful rays escape through the cloud layer. Source, a poster in my dermatologist's office. When there's snow on the ground you can actually get sunburnt worse due to the reflection of the rays from the snow. Same type of concept with swimming as well. Skiers need to wear up goggles to avoid getting snow blindness caused by the high amounts of reflected light from snow. Just because you're not fat doesn't mean you're in good shape. I've been vegetarian for 15 years. Everyone thinks this means I eat healthy. I don't. My diet is mostly pizza and pasta, and whatever microwaves faster than it takes me to eat it afterwards. My best friend is vegan. My best friend is also a big curvy woman. My best friend cannot roll her eyes hard enough when she hears people ignorantly proclaim that fat vegans don't exist because vegan equals healthy equals thin. I can give you a list of candy and junk food that's vegan. Vegan does not necessarily mean healthy. Vegan just means there's no animal byproducts or ingredients used to make the food. I'm an underweight potato and I feel personally attacked. As a skinny person with a diet consisting almost entirely of cheese and caffeine, I felt it too. You're completely right. Source, 
my 125 pounds a eh, that will probably have a heart attack at 25 for eating so bad the harder you brush the cleaner your teeth get all you're gonna do is cause gum recession i was 40 before my dentist told me to take it easy brushing my teeth I thought it was normal having to replace a brush once a month. The recommended time is 3 months. But not because you wear it out. Just because that chest nasty a little rinse isn't gonna clean that toothbrush out. After you use it, you'll scrub away your tooth enamel as well. Once that's gone, you're screwed. Was born without enamel in my teeth. Can verify. It sucks. Put ice on a burn do not do this. It can rip the skin do put the burn under cool water immediately. They now recommend lukewarm water, as cold water can irritate the burn. It's not irritation. Hot skin is still elastic, and shocking it with cold makes it contract and take on a deformed, and more painful, shape. Distance makes the heart grow fonder. Psychologists actually showed that it's the reverse, which is why LDR are very hard. Out of sight, out of mind is more accurate. I think this is an accurate observation in short term for someone that you see so often that if you are apart for a few days then you actually miss them because they are part of your routine. Think parents who read you a story every night but have to travel for a day or two for work or a family emergency or friends at school you talk to on the daily about everything and then fall in sick or uh, so you have dinner with every night who goes on a business trip for a week. Technically you miss the interaction until a new routine settles in. Distance makes the heart grow fonder. It absolutely does when talking about people that you don't like. Shtai people are far more tolerable when they're over a hundred miles away 99% of the time. Original source Roger D. Rabutin. I'll refer to this post by slash you slash Herndon 17. Absence is to love what wind is to fire. It extinguishes the small and kindles the great. Running hot water to pour grease down the sink drain. That water always cools eventually and usually the same distance down the drain where it solidifies, creating a blockage, although it's best to never put grease down the drain. If you run cold water and run the garbage disposal, the grease will solidify when it hits the cold water, the disposal will chop it into tiny pieces, and it will float down the line, creating no blockage. That people are good eyewitnesses, we aren't. Our perception of things sucks. We are prone to so many biases that we aren't even aware of. If I grade papers on an empty stomach, I will grade them lower than if I'm not hungry. And I will never admit that to be true. Even though it is, I was told a story by my forensics teacher a few years ago. It's been some time since I've heard it, so some details are fuzzy. My forensics teacher was going out with friends one day after a day at the mall. Their car was only one of a few in the parking lot. It was late, ash, at night. So they all hurried to the car. As they were about to drive away, a drunk guy came up to the car and pulled a gun on them. Keep in mind that they all saw the dude's face. They got away fine and reported the incident to the police. When asked to describe the perpetrator, all three of them gave a different description. Despite the fact that they all saw the same guy at the same time from relatively the same angle. Human brains are weird. Now think about how many people are behind bars. Only based on eyewitness testimony, I once ran across the street to help a woman who was lying on the ground. She got up and ran away after being assaulted. And a few minutes later police showed up and I told them which way she went. They asked me for a description. A few minutes later I passed her again while walking up the block. The only thing I got right was her hair color, and that she was wearing a dark shade. I thought she was wearing a winter jacket, but she really just had a hoodie on thought she was wearing jeans and winter boots, but it was black leggings and sneakers. I was kneeling beside her, and had my hand on her back, before she ran off, and I still, couldn't accurately tell what she was wearing. A lot of nutrition common sense is based on nothing, and or has never been proven. I chalk it up to the fact that the human body is more adaptable than anyone gives it credit for, and that goes for diet as well as a lot of other things that, and people think they can find solutions through dietary inclusion slash exclusions, or they look toward those things as something to blame health problems on. When you see an emergency vehicle with sirens on behind you, you should always slow down and move to the lane or shoulder to your right. This is exactly what you should do on city roads. 
but on the highway, you should never brake for an emergency vehicle, unless they are pulling you over, or you're slowing for a stopped vehicle, braking in front of an ambulance just slows them down, and creates traffic jams, maintain your speed, and get your signal on, and merge as soon as you can, and for god's sakes, stop slamming on your brakes, to avoid a speeding ticket, when you see a cop, just take your lead foot off the gas and slow naturally. Driving with y'all is scary. If you know you're speeding, when you see a cop, braking can tip them off, because they see both your nose dive and your brake lights. People think it's common sense that if you jump into lava, you will sink. This is wrong. You can't sink in lava. Depending on what height you're at you'll compress into it, but it will snap back and pop you back up. Similar to jumping on a trampoline but with less back quote bounce, a very hot, on fire trampoline, that will kill you. I never once thought about jumping into lava, but thanks, good to know. Incorrect. Source, Minecraft, slashes. Tilt your head back during a bloody nose, I get bloody noses all the time. Always have, and the amount of times I'm just sitting there minding my own business with a tissue to my nose and somebody, usually older adults, walks by and tells me I should tilt my head back. No thank you, I don't want to flood my throat with nose blood ma'am. Just ask them why, and see if they can explain. Oh my goodness, this, I had it at the dentist once, while getting an impression done, and they laid me back in the chair, before I could realize what was happening, I was like. What? No. You should know better. I'm unaware of the reason why you shouldn't. That birds will abandon their chicks if the chicks are handled by humans. Not they won't. Put the baby bad back. Not only will the parent birds continue to care for a baby bird returned to its nest, but it's also possible to trick them into raising baby birds that aren't originally from their nest if you sneak them in there. Also, life is easier when your young slash youth is the best years of your life. Growing up, everyone always said this is the best time of your life. Enjoy it while you can. They were super wrong. I hated school, hated being a student, and hated the lack of freedom. I work 50-ish. It varies. 42 72, but 52 is most common. Bows a week and it's great. I have money, freedom. I do what I want. Being a kid sucked. A harsher punishment doesn't deter someone from committing a negative act. Common sense would tell you that, if a drug dealer is aware of a law that would sentence them to life in prison for dealing drugs, that they'll be less likely to deal drugs. However, research shows that people often don't consider the negative consequences prior to breaking the law. Research shows that it isn't the harshness of the punishment, but the certainty of it that deters crime. All fires can be put out with water. If you're in a relationship, but develop feelings for someone else, break up with them, because if you truly love them, you wouldn't love the second person. Bullsh, don't cheat, don't have an emotional affair, but figure out what's going on in your heart and your head, before throwing away a loving relationship over a crush. One size does not fit all, this is often said by people obsessed with the idea, that everyone has the one. No one has just one person just made for them. You can love lots of people. You can get along with lots of people. You might love multiple people at once, or no one at all. All these are perfectly acceptable and normal. The only thing not normal and acceptable is hurting people you love. Because you can't keep it in your pants a few, and your partner want that. I've been struggling with this for a while now. My one passed away 6 months ago. One of the things she told me before it happened. She was terminally ill, so it didn't come out of nowhere, was that she wanted me to love again, and I can't help, but think what, if I still love her more than the next person, it feels like a betrayal to her, and like it isn't fair to whoever comes next, idk, the few people I have said this to dismissively say it's not time for thinking that, or you know she would want you to be happy or something similar, sorry to just drop that on you good place to spend an hour learning about all the things you thought were true but aren't. It is rarely necessary to wait 24 hours before filing a missing person report. Despite being referenced commonly in culture, 184 right square bracket, 185, and society at large, 186 right square bracket, 187 right square bracket, 188, the idea that Victorian era doctors invented the vibrator to cure female hysteria via triggering orgasm is a product 
of a single work, 189, rejected by most historians 184 right square bracket, 188 right square bracket, 190, when a meteor or spacecraft enters the atmosphere, the heat of entry is not, primarily, caused by friction but by adiabatic compression of air in front of the object. There is no such thing as an alpha in a wolf pack. An early study that coined the term alpha wolf had only observed unrelated adult wolves living in captivity. In the wild, wolf packs operate more like human families. There is no defined sense of rank. Parents are in charge until the young grow up and start their own families. Younger wolves do not overthrow an alpha to become the new leader, and social dominance fights are situational. Drowning is often inconspicuous to onlookers 322. In most cases, raising the arms and vocalizing are impossible due to the instinctive drowning response 322. Exercise-induced muscle soreness is not caused by lactic acid buildup. Water-induced wrinkles are not caused by the skin absorbing water and swelling 340. They are caused by the autonomic nervous system, which triggers localized vasoconstriction in response to wet skin. Yielding a wrinkled appearance 341 right square bracket 342 Alcohol does not necessarily kill brain cells 361 Alcohol can, however, lead indirectly to the death of brain cells in two ways 1. In chronic, heavy alcohol users whose brains have adapted to the effects of alcohol Abrupt cessation following heavy use can cause excitotoxicity leading to cellular death in multiple areas of the brain 362. 2. In alcoholics who get most of their daily calories from alcohol, a deficiency of thiamine can produce Corsakoff syndrome, which is associated with serious brain damage 363. Exercise-induced muscle soreness is not caused by lactic acid buildup, isn't it just the tearing of the fibers? The drowning one is a very important one. I once almost drowned in a pool, when I was like 5 or so, I made a step from the shallow end to the deep end, and suddenly it was too difficult for me to keep my head above water, you know when I realized, when I was drowning, when I was 19 or something like that, the first time I actually read a drowning description warning you of the signs, and I was like, wait a minute, and it isn't, like I wasn't conscious or too young, I can remember that moment clearly, and I remember my thought process as well, I never felt, like I was drowning, I felt like I screwed up, and I just needed to make a step back to the shallow end, either by moving my feet to the floor, or grabbing the floating line that separates the shallow and deep end of the pool, and pulling myself back, at the same time I didn't float, my head kept bouncing underwater, so, more frantic movement to keep my head above water, but, I did manage that, so, I wasn't drowning, I was keeping my head out of the water usually, but, I didn't have enough movement, to do something about moving back to the shallow end without losing momentum, and keeping my head above water, I could do one, or the other, but not both, but I wasn't drowning, I was still just busy unscrewing my f up, so, yeah, I can definitely understand those weird and ironic stories, of how a pool celebrates a year of no drownings, and someone then drowns at that party filled with lifesavers. If you drown you are not busy making big movements, to warn others of your peril, most likely you don't even think you are drowning, and you need all your strength and momentum to keep your head above the water, which are small and irregular movements. If the head is bobbing, that is a bad sign. For anyone that's curious here's a surprisingly stressful game that teaches you how to spot a drowning child. If you are stern with the person, retail worker, food worker, whatever, you will get what you want. We are more likely to bend over backwards to help you out. If you are polite and kind, and not real likely to do it, if you come in assuming your time is more important than ours, or that the world revolves around you, tagging into that, I work in a call center, you're welcome to call in your complaints, that's why I have a job, for fs sake, though, call me after you're finished, being actively angry about it, it's so much easier for me to help you, when I don't have to manage both your anger and your conversation, I work in retail, and have so many people who literally just walk in, make a beeline for the registers, and ask the cashier do you have any coupons for me, or when something doesn't quite go the way they want it, and they demand something for free for their trouble, we always say no to those people, and usually save the coupons for those who are here out of inconvenience egg, exchanging a defective item, 
waiting for their computer to be repaired. But also if they didn't ask for it, I tend to find that the coupon slash freebie is appreciated much more by those who weren't expecting it. Just throw your garbage in the parking lot, the cart people will pick it up. I mean, it's true, but at the same time, F you, cart people. In medical school we are taught that common things are common, and that when you hear hooves, think horses not zebras meaning that we should always assume the most obvious diagnosis. Medical students almost always jump to the rarest disease when taking multiple choice tests, or when they first go out into clinical rotations and see real patients. Yep, and it's not just medicine. How much of it is eliminated with have you tried turning it off and on again? Is everything plugged in? But sadly this does mean that when you've got a truly complicated problem you have to slog through the simple solution talk. It's always DNS, even when it isn't, it is, and the most important lesson, it's never lupus, until it is, unless your name is house. I once presented with knee pain, because I mentioned Ia had probably done it weightlifting. The docs panicked, told me never to lift again, had me keep my weight off it, and walk with a cane for months, while awaiting an MRI for a suspected crushed, or split meniscus. Had I gone to a sports physio, it's likely I'd have been told it was a mild inflammation from valgus collapse and to improve my form. Fair play they did their best, but they saw zebra. Ditto when I got my bloods tested, and my oestrogen was so low they suspected early menopause. Got to hospital, consultant redid the bloods, and showed me they were fine oestrogen fluctuates a lot, and it's been worried over nothing. It's not just about seeing zebra, if there's something in the river that's either a log or a gator then it's prudent to err on the side of the dangerous, and not go swimming. An economy is not like a household budget. Probably not the answer you're looking for, but the notion that darker roasts of coffee are higher in caffeine content, they're not. The caffeine gets cooked out the longer you roast the coffee bean, the lighter the roast, the higher the caffeine content. And when I worked at the gas station this guy's like which coffee is the strongest, and I said in flavor or caffeine content, and he said both, and I told him to do our medium roast, and he said no I want the dark roast and years later I'm still bothered, because he thinks he's right. He's off somewhere in rural Minnesota thinking he's hyped the F up on his sludge coffee, and I hate it. Why would he ask though, if you're just gonna ignore the advice anyway? What? F me this is news I've needed. I learned this on day one of my last barista job and was floored. Instantly told all of my friends, because the world needs to know. Astronomer here. In honor of the equinox today, the seasons are not caused because of our distance from the Sunday. In fact we are slightly closer to the sun during northern hemisphere winter over summer. Instead it is caused by the fact that the earth is tilted on its axis and we get more direct sunlight in summer over winter. Aka like how the sun sets earlier in winter over summer. There is actually a depressing video where some reporters went to graduation at Harvard and asked people what caused seasons. Most people didn't know. Citing the closer to the sun thing. People get mad when they don't get a tax refund. But getting a refund means you overpaid and loaned that money to the gov tax interest free for the year. You don't want to owe hundreds or thousands of dollars at filing. But if you owe less than $100, that's way better than getting a refund. You don't need to wait 30 minutes before going swimming after eating. This was just invented by public pools to stop people bringing food into the water or by parents wanting to take a nap after lunch before having to keep an eye on their children again. My grandpa told a lie when I visited him and my grandma in Florida. He said that the Florida law was that you had to wait 3 hours before getting in the pool after eating instead of the 30 minutes back home. He wanted a nap in the middle of the day. The origin that makes the most sense to me is that people don't want kids full of food to jump in the pool and vomit. I like to wait anyway. Getting acid reflux while swimming slow wax. Same with irritable bowel syndrome and spicy food. You should spend two months wages on an engagement ring as a marketing slogan. I heard an ad on the radio today. Some jewelry shop was offering 5 year payment plans for engagement rings. What a great way to start your marriage. 5 years of extra payments. I wonder how many people have 3 years of payments left after their divorce. F I in hell. That sounds horrendous. They say 3 years salary Michael Scott. Wow. Maybe that's why he had to declare bankruptcy. I'm pretty sure expensive engagement ring are dying out. And for good reason. 
Opposites attract in regards to relationships. Most of the time, they do not. Pretty sure that's misinterpreted. Opposite personalities attract. Opposite values and interests do not. Look at a couple that has made it a long time. Normally one of them is much more outgoing than the other. People who have nothing in common tend to break up. A hey, thanks for the silver. This is correct. You should find someone that shares common values, goals, and beliefs, but who can compliment you by filling in the gaps where you are weak or help balance you out. Totally this. My wife is an extreme introvert and I'm extremely extroverted. We work well together because she knows when to tell me to calm down and I can help her at times. When she doesn't want to work up the courage for something, she's the perfect complement to my personality. However, we have the same core values and belief systems. We like the same type of music, movies, and general entertainment. So as you said opposite personalities not necessarily total opposites. The concept of common sense, there's nothing common about it. Saying common sense to back up your reasoning is no different to saying because I said so to your kid. Thomas Paine would like to know your location. If you're in a city that has a big issue with traffic congestion, widening the freeway isn't going to make it better, and it might actually make it worse thanks to induced demand. 